Hey, guess what? Our friends from the zoo, John Ball Zoo, have got a cool uh, time with going to the zoo. We're going to the zoo with all our friends, and when we're there, we're going to see a snake. Hi, my name is Megan and I'm here at John Ball Zoo in Grand Rapids, Michigan with my friend Aurora, the Sonoran Mountain King Snake. Now I love snakes and something I have heard people say before is they don't like how slimy they are. But you might be surprised to know that snakes aren't slimy at all. Their scales are very dry and their scales also help them to move. So we're going to put Aurora over here on this pegboard and see how she uses her scales, her muscles, and her bones to slither through all of these pegs. Oh, she's going on top of the board. Now, even though snakes don't have arms and legs, they're still very skilled at moving through the trees, through the rocks, through the water. might have noticed that Aurora has been sticking her tongue out over and over again. Snakes do this to sense the world around them. This is a way for them to collect information. So when she's sticking out her tongue, she's collecting smells and chemicals and info all on her tongue to figure out what's going on around them. So if you are a little bit nervous around snakes, what you can remember is that when you see them in the wild, they do not want to hurt you. In fact, they probably want a little space from you too. So give them some space, observe from a distance, and you might find that they're actually really, really cool. just how they work how they experience the world I'm gonna pretend <laughs> be sure to subscribe and get notified for all our new videos